in today's video this is what i have for you today thanks for tuning in welcome to jw solar usa uh this is a magnosine magnum energy me dash s b c battery smart battery combiner this one like you heard is a battery combiner you can add um another extra battery like an auxiliary battery to your main battery so this is what it does so guys you can see from here you can able to get um uh they are dialing knobs i can call them and uh this is where you can set the battery to disconnect or to connect sorry connect low battery disconnect and high voltage disconnect so you can set the parameters here instead of a digital it's going to be uh just analog which you can use a dial so it has a status light disconnected and reverse polarity protection it had a reset button here so the first one you can set the voltage of the battery if a 12 volt or 24 volt configuration so it's a multiply voltage setting times two for 24 volt so you can set your battery parameters here you want the battery from to connect for example like a 12 volt to 13 point something or 13 volt it connects when the batteries are low it's going to connect and you want it to you calculate it times this if it's a 12 volt this and this you want it to cut off at a 15 volt it depends it depends to your uh, battery manufacturer specifications so you have to know um your settings and what you, whatever you want i can set the battery to be connect to connect at a uh, 2 12 volt 12.8 volt or and it disconnect at um uh 12.5 volt and you want it to be a high voltage when you charge it's going to be about 15 volt or 14.4 14 point see what's 14 here you can see 0.3 okay 0.3, 0.2, 0.4, 0 0.6, whatever. You can go all the way 15 here on your dial. So what it does, I can put the pictures or the the, uh, the configuration on the on the uh, on the video as the the video starts or as the video and you will see all the way it was configured. Here's the main battery. You can connect your main battery from here. Just like when you have a boat or marine, you have the starter battery, you have the auxiliary battery, which is like maybe navigation or whatever, you know, trolling motor or motor or whatever. So the main battery connects from here. Let me see one battery is here and the second battery is here. You can see it on the diagram and uh, you have an auxiliary positive here. This one goes to the second battery connected to the po positive side. And let me see underneath here, you have your bus bar for the negative bat uh, terminals they're going to tie the two batteries they're not like you have to parallel them no one battery is coming in here the positive of it is coming inside here which is the auxiliary one and the main battery here and there is uh, the common one which is the neutral is going to take on the second battery uh, 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 neutral and tie it up there and the main battery is here so guys you can pull about uh, this thing can use a solenoid you can see that you can connect a solenoid here to do you can see that on the diagram as well i'm going to put on on the on the video on the slide there you can connect a solenoid here and which this thing can takes about 25 amps you know we can draw about 25 amps to maintain these batteries and it can surge all the way to about 40 volt so this little device is a very powerful thing for magnum and uh, it depends how you want to utilize it. Some people will find it helpful. Some people probably, you check on the videos there. It's not even on the Magnum, uh, one of his videos there. But uh, I decided to give it a shot because like I told you guys, I'm getting all my Magnum um, uh, devices. And this is what I want to do. On the solenoid, you can see how it's connected. The positive. Okay, the sense cables from here is going to come to the positive of the main first battery. That's how you sense the battery for the low voltage or whatever, like the cutoff or whatever, the battery full. Then if you charge, it's going to be charging. If you draw, it's going to be drawing. You need second battery. It's going to connect to it. And uh, the solenoid, you'll see the next photo. 
that has a watch push, pause the video and look at how the solenoid is connected and from there you can see how the solenoid is connected the positive of those comes with a uh, 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 um, how you call it um, you guys uh, inline fuse on it and the inline fuse is gonna help you um, connect gets to this side in case of uh, any arc or, or so to it, instead of burning out this device gonna be protected then it's gonna come from the solenoid here and to the battery this, this to the battery I get a solenoid positive around here and it's gonna loop all the way to the main battery as well as the sense sense wire right there to sense the voltage like what you already said your parameters here and it's gonna do whatever you can do so it's just a quick shot um a video I want to show you guys here. I hope you um, this one will make sense and read the uh, um, semantics. I'm going to be adding the pictures on the description below or on the slide. That's what I meant. And um, this is going to be an awesome thing for your application. And I'm going to be setting up a video for this, maybe for my 12 volt um, uh, portable system, or I'm going to be using, utilizing it for the 24 volts. It has both 12 and 24, you can see here so you can able to utilize this machine thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and like the video as always here in minnesota jw solo usa thanks for watching bye